So I'm just letting the weight of the knife do the job here. This is a pretty heavy knife, the Tuscan, and this is pretty strong wood. Just to let the weight of the knife do it, because it's a thick bladed knife, very hard wood this eucalyptus. Turn this over. Could probably snap that now, but right, that's that. It's a really thick blade here, okay, and there's a bit of weight in that, and the same thickness all the way down to here. So a long time ago, what happened was Puma back in the 70s, early 70s, they were marketing uh, their White Hunter actually um, as a knife that you could do many things for with rather because it had a thick blade and the White Hunter still does. So what are those things? Some of us look at a thick blade as not being so useful and that really depends if it's too thick down by the edge here and it's not too thick down here. Let's have a look at that. So I'm going to fashion this into a bit of a digging stick because I don't want to dig in the ground with the knife. This is what the Australian Aboriginals did. Obviously they didn't have knives, but they fashioned digging sticks that they could... Oh, it's really hard wood. They could dig in the ground with. And we'll make a bit of a wedge here. So you're digging sticks like a primitive shovel. Let's have a look at that. So we've got a wedge there, like that. And let's have a look here. This is pretty good. And the shape of this log, you see I've got this thing here like this. We can really, you know, ergonomically it's good for me. So I've sorted out the, the wood so it's useful to me. So we can make a digging stick, fashion a digging stick from it. The other thing that you can use with a heavy handled knife is, uh, using the back of the spine for things. Okay, so first of all, I'll just chop that off there a bit through this knot. And that makes pretty easy work of that. So it doesn't have a four print grip like their other knives. It's got this um, G10 scales. And of course, they will transmit a bit more vibration from the knife, depending on what you're working with to the hand. That's just inevitable. But they also come, it also has some benefits, the G10 on here, especially how it's got all these scalloped patterns in here and the knurling on the blade, the different jimping rather on the blade, uh, a spine tang here rather. It's really grippy, okay, and it's wet. You can see it's all wet out here. It's slightly raining a little bit, and that's no problems with that there. So we can make digging sticks with this. It's pretty hefty. It's like a small, it's not an axe, but it's quite heavy. And it, just let the weight of the knife do the job. Let's look at another aspect of having a thick blade. The thing you can use a heavy bladed knife for is to bang stakes into the ground if you don't have a hammer in lieu of a hammer or there's no rocks around. And, and, and here, you see, there's enough weight to do that. Let me just move that out of the way. So the width of the blade is good for that. It's got some weight. I could even use the spine. You see there, like that, like a hammer. That's what Puma advocated their knives for, the thick bladed ones, and they're really useful for that. Now you might say, okay, this, well, there are no rocks around here anywhere. There are some rocks, but they're really big, ginormous rocks, okay? And there's your hammer. So one of the things I was showing the other day, if you put this loop over here like this, this strap through here like this, okay, I would personally tie an overhand knot in here to this distance and close that up like this, okay. The knife, if you were to carry the knife like this, it can't come out, right? It's not the best way to do it, but it can't come out if you have to, if you insist you have to carry it like that, I'll put a mallet strap on the back there. This knife is really meant to be carried in this position, but if you have to, you can do it like that. Now, the other thing is, I showed you here this carabiner. This is a proper carabiner, and if you get one of the right size, you see this, this, this strap here does not restrict the gate opening and closing. That's really good, so that means 
no restriction there you can put a big rope through there this can be clipped onto anything and here like here on the belt quick release on there like that off like this right I take the knife off and I've got it on the belt like that done I can go I can clip it on a pack in a hurry I've got the knife off so simple just like that yeah on and off lock and gate can use it in many applications I want to put it on the belt it's on and that's it ready to go so these big palms here there's lots of them in here this one's now got a whole big bunch of dates on it while this is not a regular date palm these particular palms these seeds are really tasty there's not much flesh on them but they're very very tasty and if you can see that up there they're away from being ripe yet they're golden orangey color when they're ripe but you can see where they fell in the past lots of seeds millions of baby palms coming up here everywhere which is great and uh, this banana that which was here a couple of years ago now it's now about this high it gets pretty dry down in here yeah very nice bit of bush